6G is about enabling in the end the whole end-to-end -end process that leads to new applications. One of the applications is um, connecting people. So connecting people, uh, even not physically, but virtually. I would put the metaverse as one of the key use cases. And so as we're entering then the time period of 2030, it's fair to say we fully expect there to be a wide deployment of augmented and virtual reality by then. We believe that some form of holograms will be available eventually. And then, you know, through 6G technology, you know, we'll be able to interact with different people remotely and through hologram images and displays and so on. We have the, the fusion of the digital, physical and biological world, but it should not burden the user. It should offload the user for mundane tasks and should provide information whenever and wherever the user needs it. If you have a, a metaverse uh, appointment with the doctor, they still need to be able to read your vital signals and do all the stuff that they would do in a hospital. And then it can transmit that through 6G uh, to uh, uh, the doctor uh, uh, who may be anywhere else in the world. Technology of course has to serve economic factors like you know you have to be faster, you have to be more efficient, you have to realize new things maybe. But at the very end, of course, it should also serve the people. Looking at what we need, what we would like to have, what we would like to design in one particular moment, and how to, how to know that, how to figure out what would be my particular need, or what is my need now in this moment, how I feel. How can we translate what we can do into a customer conversation. So also that topic, how do we really engage very closely, understand the applications and discuss on eye level what is needed and what is possible. We are the guys that are uh, taking uh, uh, the crystal ball yeah, and looking into the crystal ball and trying to see the future, foresee the future. <laughs>